Located next to the Olympic Stadium where the 2012 Paralympic Games were held, the Global Disability Innovation Hub is part of a new £300 million campus for the University College London. Innovators here advocate for disability inclusivity, working to implement change through research and development in the assistive technology sector around the world. I met up with Vicky Austin, the CEO of The Hub, to find out more. We're here to drive disability innovation for a fairer world. That means we want to make the world better for disabled people and for all people. And we try to use innovation, technology and change to make that a reality. How many people does it kind of reach out to, I suppose, at this point in time? Well, it's glad you asked because we've actually started counting in about 2018 and we've reached 29 million people so far. And that's mainly with access to assistive technology, so things like hearing aids, eyeglasses, walking sticks, digital devices that help people to live happy, fulfilling and fruitful lives. What about those, you know, startups that are in this space as well? What's your kind of words of advice or, or thoughts to them? There's been a couple of themes that we've learned through our investment through the Assistive Technology Impact Fund. And, you know, that goes mainly to sometimes it's technical assistance, like how does my product work in the market context? Sometimes it's, you know, real venture support, like how do these people with brilliant new ideas figure out how to be business leaders? You know, this is difficult. But I think at the moment we're seeing a real opportunity for those with brilliant ideas to accelerate towards change. Let's talk about technology and how that could ultimately close the disability wealth gap, if you will. You know, how, how significant and important is that? It's really significant and actually there's been some really interesting work done recently that showed that it's tech companies that are investing in disability and diversity at a greater speed of investment and they're actually also seeing a higher return on profitability and we all know that diverse teams come up with better ideas and drive better outcomes for people and so I think there's a real opportunity to drive business change and also deliver corporate profit um, while being able to make the world better. Um, I think also technology by itself doesn't achieve anything. It's the humans that use it that make the difference. And so our job, I think, is to advocate for technology that does good and to advocate for technology which makes a change not just for people here in London or in Washington or in Barcelona or anywhere in the global north, but I feel passionately that we advocate for those people who are perhaps less able to access those resources.